everyone, my name is John Lasciuto. I'm the Art Gallery Director at Florida Gulf Coast University Art Galleries. And it's my pleasure to be having an interview today with Renee Ray. And we're talking with Renee uh, about an upcoming exhibition she's in. It's called When We See Further, and that's October 16th through November 19th of 2020. And she's one of floor, four South Florida artists who's gonna be in the exhibition. And she'll be joined by Heather Couch, Marina Font and Terry Rybovich to do a installation in the art gallery. And we're really looking forward to having all of them uh, join us for that. But today we're gonna to talk with Renee about uh, her work and how uh, she's developed her work. And so Renee, once again, thank you for joining us and for being part of this conversation. Oh, thank you, John. It's great to be here and to converse with you about my work. So I know there's a few things we want to discuss and I'll just start off with some questions and we'll see how it goes. So one of the things that we were talking about was the development of your work as an artist. And I've had the pleasure of coming to your studio to see that for a while now, but what do you think are some of the reoccurring themes that you find yourself dealing with? Well, um, the work that I do uh, challenges traditional landscapes and human figuration. So I create alternative universes and transformative self-portraits. So the things I search for are uh, the sublime versus the temporal, the physical versus the spiritual. Um, I'm also interested in movement and metamorphosis through time and space, referencing a science um, dimensionality, like three and four dimensionality. Uh, I'm, I also look for fluidity between line and form, and that crosses from two dimension to three dimension, which I've been exploring recently. So um, in this environment, I respond to social and political climates. I'm... Um, looking for connections and commonalities between identity and the environment so that I can try to find bridges that can, um, between people around the world. Sure, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of what I think we've been talking about when we've been imagining the exhibition. And I know that the other three artists, they're also dealing with some, some similar themes. Um, and it's really interesting, when we first started this four-person exhibition, uh, none of you had met each other and we weren't sure how it was going to go. So given the themes you're working with and what you've learned about uh, the other artists as you met them, has that changed, you know, how you're making work for this specific exhibition? Yeah, I think that's a, that's a really great question. And I'm really excited about having this opportunity to work with them. This is the first time that I've ever done anything like this where we have so much a conversation between us. And so two things have happened. I've become more self-reflective about my work and thinking about the ideas that um, the other artists are dealing with and what I love is how they activate, um, among many things, how they activate uh, the concepts of fragility and strength. And um, Marina does a great job with this, dealing with her, um, herself, identity and psychology. And Terry, who just pushes the boundaries of um, her bodyscapes and uh, Heather, who takes materiality or materials and creates a, uh, these beautiful sculptures that are using unexpected materials. And like I said, all of them uh, deal with this tension between uh, fragility and strength, and that is, parallel with what I've been trying to do. So I've been exploring that more in my work, especially now that I'm doing this installation work, which is very new. And, and that's like, a little bit of what we're seeing behind you is the beginning of a, a new piece. Yes, yes. So this is just really the experimental phase. Um, in the last one that I did, I had finished the painting and then 
added materials afterwards. This time what I'm trying to do is to work with the materials and the paint and the canvas all at once. So it is a different, more complex road that I'm, I'm venturing on, but I love it. So yeah, so you can see um, here, here I'll step aside for a minute. So what I have is some pieces, I foraged for some wood uh, outside right here and then folded canvas and this is uh, oil so it's wet. So I have to wait till that dries and then paper and string and yeah, just keep going. I actually have three canvases but one is behind the monitor. Well, that'll be a surprise for, for both myself and the uh, audience that comes to the exhibition. Everyone will have to come to see how this piece turns out. It's really exciting to see it in, pro in progress, though, in process. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You know, you're, you're talking about a number of the ideas and themes, and I know that that came up in some of our discussions when we were trying to figure out a title for the exhibition. And we went round and round with that a bit. But we eventually landed on this title, When We See Further, which is somewhat ambiguous, but I know that uh, each of us uh, have uh, teased out a meaning, a meaning from that. What, what does the title, When We See Further, mean to you? Um, well, that's a two-part answer. Uh, the first part is inward, the second is outward. So inward is me looking at the different materials now that I'm using and the different explore, uh, explorations I have pursued, and uh, that is something for me to be able to see further than I have in the past. The second is um, my work has a message. It has a message of bringing people together and inclusiveness, equality, and a universal connectedness. So I'm hoping to stimulate conversation about that through my work and that is uh, something where I am in, in conversation with other people or people who are uh, seeing the work themselves and having a conversation with themselves and the work itself. Uh, that is another way of seeing further. You know, it's uh, the things you're talking about come at a time when that probably is more important than ever. Have you found yourself dealing with these ideas more so during the, the COVID-19 pandemic that we're in? Yes, I really concentrated on that idea of connectedness because we, I'm self-isolating for the most part. And uh, that has created a lot of distress, dis-ease, uncomfortable things for me. Uh, and so, it, although I thought that I was self-reflective in the past, this has really changed the game. So more meditation, more exercise, and more going into my work and really thinking about what that means to be connected to people when we're really so separated. So um, that is one of the things. The second thing that's happened is the physicality in my work. I've, all, I've worked large uh, for many years, and so there was a type of physicality with the paint and the canvas or the wood, whatever I use. This installation has created something really new where I go out and I forage for wood, uh, small trees, uh, sticks, and they're all dead. So I bring them home, but they have bugs on them, so I wash them, and this is outside, in the Florida heat, sweating, washing them, bleaching them, and then waiting for them to dry, but bringing them in. So I have this new connection with nature that I never had before through my artwork. So that is, those are two things that have really changed with the advent of COVID. It's, it's fascinating. I'm interested in hearing what the other artists have to say as well, and I look forward to speaking with them in the future. I just wanted to remind everyone that 
you know, the exhibition once again is October 16th through November 19th coming up. And I hope that you can join us because uh, Renee will be there. Uh, if we can have an opening, we'll see. So that's a reason to check our website often to make sure uh, for any up upcoming events. But uh, if you are able to come out and meet with her, then we can continue the conversation. And once again, Renee, thank you so much for, for doing this today. Oh, thank you too, John. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me. And I'm excited about the upcoming exhibition and hopefully meeting people. Wonderful. All right. Bye, everyone.